Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. If you've recently checked out tech videos from Ghana on YouTube, there's one channel you probably might have come across, which is Quick View by Soji Gray. Today I happened to come over to his place and I've got a couple of questions I'd like to ask him. So without talking further, let's just go ahead and get into it. So Charlie, thanks for um, inviting me back to your place. Um, thanks for this interview. So the first question I have for you is um, why Quick View? Like your channel, why Quick View? Yeah, because I chose Quick View because I just wanted a name that's going to be catchy okay and try to connect to tech as possible i wanted people to quickly get tech they need oh okay and for that reason i used quick view so it's like oh. tech news you can get with speed sort of yeah so that, okay. that was what actually inspired the name quick view okay i'm sure a lot of people have been wondering if soji gray is your name so is soji gray a real name uh soji gray is kind of my real name and not my real name at the same time I really like grey colours, as you can see, I, I really love grey colours, okay. so that's why you have the grey in my name. And Soji is my Nigerian name. Okay. My, actual, my, my actual full name is Emmanuel Olu Ashenwo Ire Tomide Temi Tokpe Soji Jason Salim Elifalet. Wow. It's a very long name and I've shortened it now because, I mean, it's stress, you know, so. But, but then that's why I like using Soji okay. Grey. I'm sure a lot of people didn't know you're Nigerian. I actually didn't know myself. I'm getting to the Yeah, a lot of people well. didn't know, but I can speak to you. Like, I feel, I feel when it, I, I'm culturally, I'm Ghanaian because I've been here since I was four. Okay. My mom is Ghanaian and I know a lot of Ghana things. I like Ghana Jollof, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I see, we won't even go there. So, uh, let's just go ahead. Um, so, what inspired you to start YouTube? Like, why? Yeah, I felt there was a void in Africa or in Ghana to be to be precise on people who starts the conversation around tech like there are not a lot of people in ghana who do talk about tech yeah. and so that really inspired me because i've seen outside a lot of people are doing great things for so also doing nigeria miss okay. Techie in nigeria henry new in nigeria mkbhd like all these people are creating nice content talking about tech i feel ghana we need to make our point we need to make our mark and i feel that's what i'm here to do and I'm really glad other people in Ghana are trying to, I mean, start something like that. I see. So how long have you been doing YouTube? Like a year and some months. A year and some months, yeah. I've, I've not really grown in it, but I've learned a lot of things. And how has it been so far? It's been a rough ride. Because um, making videos is not so easy. Making one video is very difficult. And having to do that particular video, publishing it, and then getting five views after like <laughs> two weeks, man. Two weeks. It's at some way it's not so encouraging See, but then you have to like putting all that effort yeah. and still grind yeah. even though no that's, one that's, is that's, seeing that's your true. effort yeah. you understand so that's that's the difficult part it's been a rough ride anyway yeah. so what gears do you use in shooting your videos um i have a sony a5100 i really love sony cameras because okay. uh if you're someone who wants to shoot without the assistance of anyone yeah it's always better to have an a camera that has autofocus yeah, and the yeah. sony has that that's, that's so yeah primarily as a sony a5100 i edit with final cut on a macbook oh okay yeah okay i see and uh what has been some of the challenges so far having a youtube channel or starting youtube as the growth you know because you you start making videos and then you realize that a lot of people are not subscribed to your channel are not following you are not like encouraging you one way or the other that can be very discouraging as i earlier said and I feel that's one one major challenge in in Ghana. Aside, people, friends, family, not supporting the system itself is not really supporting. Okay. Yeah, because we have a lot of tech companies in Ghana. Yeah. We have a lot of great apps in Ghana. People yeah. don't even know about. Yeah, so if you have true. people who are trying to champion a conversation about these issues, I I feel you should encourage them to do what they do. Yeah. But yeah. we don't have that luxury at all, and I feel that's a very big problem anyway. for us. Sure. So, who inspires you? Like, are there any people out there who inspires you? A lot of people inspire me. MKBHD, Marquez Brownlee, yeah. is is like a mentor when it comes to video making. Mm -hmm. Like, he really goes, he really does it on another level. Yeah. Like, I really like the way he makes his videos, yeah. the conversation. Aside him, I like Joe Rettinger okay. of Techno Buffalo. I really love him. He he, he makes great videos. In Africa, Fesai Fosodu, my brother, he's he's great and he's doing a great job so these are the people that inspire me like because every day you need i feel as an individual you need to get inspiration from somewhere yeah yeah and anytime i watch their videos you it makes inspired. me know that wow this is possible he's done that this is where he grew from and i can also get there 
Anyway, okay, so have you ever got any kind of negative comments on your videos before? <laughs> I do get a lot. Not a lot. Like, I've gotten a couple of negative Biggest comments. comments. Some people saying I'm boring. Some people saying I talk too much. Some people saying my quality is bad. And it's, it's, I feel sad sometimes. But at the same time, I feel very honored in the sense that people kind of expect more from me. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of puts me in check. I'm glad, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I really, even though it puts me down sometimes, I feel, oh, wow, these people think, oh, I'm not doing it right. It means I can do better. And yeah. I feel yeah. it's it's sort of a criticism that makes me do what I'm doing. So if you could if you could observe the first video I made to the ones I'm making currently, mm -hmm. you can see the quality jump yeah. in yeah. the way I communicate, in the way the video looks. That's and true. it's just as a result of people telling me, do this, don't do this, all these negative comments. I have somebody calling me. Someone, so, I mean, someone said I look like no, he said I speak like I'm from Wakanda. I think Wakanda is a country, you know, it was so funny. The, the day I saw that comment, I was I was blown away, man. But anyway, it's all good. Yeah. I see. I see. Well, so um what advice have you got for um young people or people who are willing to start YouTube? Like what, what do you have to tell them? I wanna tell them it's a very difficult terrain. Like it's not for the faint hearted. Like if you're into it, you're into it. Yeah. You can't come, upload, leave. You have to have this consistency. And as you get consistent, you need to learn a lot. So improve your craft, improve the way you talk, the way you articulate yourself, the way that your videos look. It's a learning process. Yeah, sure. So it's, you need to avail yourself. I yeah. feel if you're coming to YouTube, you need to have that mindset that you're coming to learn, yeah. be better. Yeah. And once you're consistent enough, you start being relevant. I also want to tell you out there that you need to get a niche. You need to, if it's about, clothing, female clothing, kids clothing, kids toys, and phones, apps, launches. I mean, you need to find your niche yeah. and then go in that direction. And once you are consistent within that niche, after some time, you become... So after some, so, so once you become consistent within that niche, you improve a lot and it makes you a very relevant individual in that particular field yeah so um how far how far are you willing to take uh youtube like how long are you looking at doing youtube i'm looking at doing youtube for as long as possible like i want to get into it and then branch out into other fields you know because i feel there's a lot we can do when it comes to youtube when it comes to video making there's a way we can blend it to match both of them and create babies out of them so um we're going to develop once yeah. it gets there we would know what other thing we should add and take away uh, i think i was talking to you about we starting a podcast together yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah, like sure, that i mean it's something sure. that is, is is like a branch out of what we started when it comes to youtube yeah. so let's see let's see where it goes anyway okay that's 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 great uh i'm sure a lot of people didn't know all these things about you and uh some of these things that you are saying um any final words have you you've got any final words you want to say i just want to say no matter the field you find yourself in you need to be consistent you need to be humble humble enough to learn more yeah and believe in god believe in yourself and you can you can you can you can do it you can do it it's not easy but you can do it also um i go by the name soji gray the name of my channel is quick view make sure to subscribe to quick view i talk about tech i do review tutorials on boxings etc when it comes to tech conversations you should check my channel out and i'd love to have you guys on board okay yeah charlie thanks for inviting me over i, I must say i like your place a lot i, I like you the way much. you've gone about the design here so guys um that's um so you agree um, there'll be a link at the top for you to get to his channel make sure you subscribe to his channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well so that's it um, that's the end of this video thank you very much for watching we we'll see you in the next one